All right, hunting pack seems to always be the million dollar question as to what's the perfect pack. So doing some research, some searching, I come up with this for this year. So the Badlands Pursuit. A couple reasons I went with it. Number one, uh, my single stick and saddle hunt. So I'm a minimalist. I don't carry a lot of stuff in. I'm trying to keep everything as light as possible. Um, a lot of the packs I looked at were three, four, five, six pounds. Um, this pack's only a pound, I think pound 14 ounces. Um, I don't carry a bunch of gear, so I don't need a bunch of space. I don't plan on meat hauling. So I really just want a small pack that can get all my gear into it, keep everything nice, lightweight, and compact. So I went with this for a couple reasons um, for that. And then another thing was their lifetime unconditional warranty. Um, I think that's pretty awesome. They stand behind their product. They vow to fix it for life no matter what happens to it. So that's hard to find in anybody anymore. So just unboxing this thing to look at it and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Another selling point for me was they do first responder discounted pricing. So it was um, I think 40% off. So I think I got the pack for $69.99. So I'm not trying to spend three, dollars $400 on the pack. So we're going to go over it real quick. This is the first time I've put eyes on it, put hands on it. You just watched me unbox it. Um, kind of see what I think size wise. I need to be able to get my Ridge Runner in it, a single stick in it, maybe some camera gear, and then like some outer clothing during um, the cold season and the late season. So kind of see how that packs up. I'm going to take a quick peek at this, see how I can fit things in it, and then uh, we'll come back on the camera and actually see what it looks like. So I was hadn't looking. I'd only found two reviews out there. Um, one was from G2. He said the inner liners were too noisy and he didn't like the flap over the zipper. Um, and I found that review twice. Two people saying that. So I don't know if they copied each other or what. Uh, so we'll kind of go from there. But there was, I get the flap over the zipper. It's obviously trying to keep rain out of the zipper. So um, I can appreciate that. So the inner liner, I don't know. Let's see what it looks like here. I don't plan on being on the inside of it like all the time. I can see what he's saying. If you were scratch your fingernails on it. There obviously is some noise there, so I don't think I'm going to sit here and try to play guitar like that up in the tree stand either, so. Got plenty of straps, plenty of pockets, quite a bit of storage here, so. See, I got my single stick, my Ridge Runner, we'll see maybe how easy it's going to be to put those in there. I guess, first off, just Ridge Runner. I think the front compartment would not work. So there, Ridge Runner app will fit pretty easily right in the main compartment. It has no troubles at all. It fits in there perfect like that. So, I mean, if that's something we want to do, we can do it that way. Nice cinch straps to be able to tighten everything back down, keep everything taut. So I'm just gonna throw my saddle and all my rope gear in this front compartment just to take up some space and see. So I normally would wear my saddle, but just put my saddle in there just to kind of take up some space. So there's saddle, all my rope, ridge runners in the main compartment. And I think from what it looks like, we could probably just put the stick right on this front. Put our single stick on right there. So there is at least ridge runners in the main platform, my saddle, all my ropes in that second compartment, my sticks on the front. This is kind of a quick overview, real quick, just my first impression. I mean, I think it's going to work pretty well. It's got like a nice suspension, it looks like, on your back. Hopefully, keep it off my back a little bit, kind of let some air get through there and breathe. So maybe not get quite so sweaty. So. Headed back to the truck here. This is uh, after checking the first camera. This is the absolute first time I've worn this Badlands Pursuit. And uh, like I said, I'm carrying my Ridge Runner in there, a single stick, and then uh, my saddle and all my ropes. So, a decent amount of weight compared to what I'm going to carry for hunt season. It's pretty much all I'm going to have, other than a little bit of miscellaneous gear. So, I will say uh, the straps, they're wide enough, thick enough, they're padded enough, super comfortable. Uh, no weight on my shoulders at all. The chest strap takes a lot of the load off there and you know, helps hold that. It does not have a waist belt, so if you're wanting something with a waist belt, this would not be for you unless you want to try to mod it at it. But overall, right now, my first impression, I really like it for a minimalist setup. All right, so yesterday we unboxed this Badlands Pursuit uh, 
use our, our gear, kind of went out, checked some cameras, definitely like the pack. So today I want to see, can I fit everything in this that I need? So I'm single sticking, ridge runner, and then basically inside the pack, I'm nothing crazy here. Got a kill kit, grunt tube, range finder, headlamp, extra flashlight, small pair of binoculars, camera arm, camera base, camera and mic, black racks, um, cold weather gear, so some gloves, gator, beanie, face mask. I use a hand muff when it's cold out. And then just, I'll probably be able to put my outer ja outer layer jacket in there. I'll wear, usually wear my bibs on the way in. So that's kind of what I need to be able to carry. And we're gonna see if we can pack all that in this pack and see how it works. All right, so real quick, before we try to stuff all of our gear in this pack, we'll just go over real quick. It's design and pocket layout. So first thing I will note that it's not a frame pack, but it does have like a, it's almost like a foam board across the back. It does give it not so much rigidity, but it does give it some structure the back of it so straps are nice and padded plenty wide chest strap gives plenty of adjustment there so uh, overall it feels pretty good pocket layout so let's start main pocket is our one big pocket does have a hydration bladder in the back the loops hooks to hang that hydration pack only does come out on the left side of the pack on your left shoulder there's not an option to come out the right side if you note that so, good size pocket though next pocket coming forward there's another good size deep pocket and then does have a separate um, mesh pocket, zipper pocket there on the front of it on this. And then on the very front we do have we do have another pocket on the very front exterior that goes all the way to the full depth. Lashing straps on the front, lashing straps on the top sides. You also have lashing straps on the bottom, which I think that might be where I try to put my one stick. We'll see how that works. So that's the pockets there. And then each side has got a good size pocket on the side. It's not divided or anything. And then you've got your like drink carrier pocket on the outside. And the other side is exactly the same way. And you also got a couple of loops on chest on the straps. You've got a couple of loops there to hang stuff on if you so would wish. And to clarify what I talked about earlier on uh, the pricing was one of the reasons I went with Badlands because they give a discount for first responders, law enforcement, prior military, current military. They do a discount program through that. So I got this pack for $60. It was $9.95 for shipping and processing. And it was $4.89 with tax. So delivered to my door, it was $74.84. All right, so that's everything we went over earlier, all packed on here. Uh, I'll a couple pictures there and show you how it looks. A super slim design I think it'll work out really well so I'll kind of go over to show you what I got in here and how I did it so the stick on the side obviously uh, step one I do have one night eyes gear tie down here just to keep the bottom of the stick from moving anywhere otherwise it's just hanging on this top lashing strap so obviously that's quick and easy that's the first thing I need when I get to the tree so I'll make that easy to get off so then I'll throw this back on my back and climb once I get to hunting height the next thing I'm gonna need obviously is the platform I've got just the two back um, lashing straps holding it on there. So that's super easy. And there's my platform. I've got the strap for my ridge runner right there in that side pouch. So quick and easy. So now I've got my platform. I'm at hunting height. I'm at hunting height. Platform set. And then I got my pack here. I can just hang it on my gear hanger. So go over everything else. So I've got black racks are just on those bottom lashing straps so they can stay there as long as I need to. On this outside pouch over here, I've got my shotgun mic, and then that's where my camera was at, which obviously it's on the tripod right now because I only have one. So that's on that left side, so camera equipment is there. So camera and mic. The other side pouch, I have nothing in. It was completely empty, so that gives me a spot to put um, some snacks, whatever I need, drinks on this side. So I left that open. The so the main pouch on the back, I've got a pair of gloves on top. I got a heavyweight jacket for a later season. I got neck gaiter, face mask, beanie, 
my hand muff. So that's the entire back. The middle compartment is what I did. So I have camera base, camera arm. That's all I had in the middle one. And then that small zipper pouch that's on the inside of this. I've got my headlamp, extra flashlight, and my kill kit. And then on the small front zipper pouch that we had up here, which will be hanging out in the open, I've got readily available the things I'm gonna need that I can hang on my gear hanger. So, grunt tube, bionics, range finder, and that's it. And then my racks are on the bottom there and they quickly can come off with just these last straps are all that's holding those. So, and then they're good to go. So, all in all, I think it'll work pretty good for what I'm trying to do. Um, it's probably not for everyone. You're gonna have to, like I said, if you were carrying more than one stick, I think you'd have trouble. Uh, there's no molly or anything on the front to hook any to. There's not a lot of extra. So, but for just a down and dirty minimal setup, I think it's gonna work really well for me. So, can't beat the pricing, can't beat the lifetime warranty, and uh, the service that goes behind it. So, as low as you know, I was, I kind of did wonder where they are made, and the tag will tell you that it is made in Vietnam. So. I wish they were American made, but they're not, so, which not very many packs are anymore. So, anyways, that's my thoughts. Drop me a comment, subscribe if you like it, and uh, let me know what you think. Then, just for reference with everything, as you've seen packed, we're at 18 pounds, so not bad.